One of the biggest criticisms I got for making this content was you should just leave them alone. They're happy by themselves. It makes sense because again, a few of these tribes have decided to stay out of the Western world. But the reality is the world has 8 billion people. Their traditional homelands are being encroached on. The world's a very small place. So then what really is the solution? I was working with a foundation called Malacca Foundation. And what they're doing is they're sending Hadza to school. And my attitude in the beginning was like, no, let's help them do their thing. You know, like mm -hmm. that's going to make them modernize. We don't have a choice if they're going to modernize. They have already and they will continue to even if we leave them alone. The example that I love to give is the Maasai who are again these nomadic pastoralist people and they still live quite traditionally but they've had many people go to school learn how the world works the system work and then come back and say I'm from this this land I'm gonna fight for my people I know the laws otherwise people who know the system are gonna take advantage of those who don't and who's gonna fight for it more it's gonna be someone who's from there it's ultimately the best way to allow them to survive.